Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create vibrato or vibrato effects in Reaper. And I'm going to start off by adding one to a keyboard, an electric piano. So let's create a track, set up the MIDI input to my controller, put it into record, and I'm going to put a virtual instrument plugin on this track. Go right here. Go to Instruments, and I'm going to choose the one down here, Native Instruments Contact, which is a free player that they offer. So I'm going to go to the Piano and choose Electric Piano. Bring this in, and let's see what it sounds like. Now I want to add some vibrato to this. Now there's an option over here to add vibrato. Let's see what it sounds like. Right now it's panning. Let's turn that off. Let's hear it again. That effect is not really vibrato. Even though they call it that, it's really tremolo, which is the process of changing the volume. Real vibrato changes the pitch. Listen again. The volume is getting louder and lower, which again is tremolo. I want vibrato. So let's turn this off. Let's see what it sounds like now. No modulation. So now let's add another plugin so we can create real vibrato. We'll go over here. We'll type in the filter, pitch, all plugins, and we'll choose this one right here, pitch shifter two. Although any of them will probably work. Hit OK. And now let's float this by double clicking it. So now right over here, we could adjust the pitch. So what we want to do with this parameter is modulate it. So let's double click it to bring it back to zero. Also touch it. So you can go over here to the menu and choose parameter modulation. Now this is going to modulate the last parameter we touch. See right here, last touched pitch adjustment. That's why I prefer to touch it first, so it shows up right here. So then we'll go down to the menu and choose parameter modulation. And this turns on parameter modulation for this parameter. We'll choose LFO, and I can already see it's modulating that parameter based on an LFO that we can set up. Now if you notice, it's moving from the middle to the right side. We want to center it. So we can adjust the baseline over here. So now it's centered, or we can change the direction over here to be centered. So now the effect, or the modulation, is centered around zero. But if we play it now, the pitch is changing way too much. So we can go over here to our strength and bring it way down. See how it's moving, not as far? So by adjusting the strength, we decide how far or how big the range is that's being adjusted. This is very wide, and this is a lot smaller. Let's hear this. That's a lot better. Now we can adjust the speed. Make that a bit faster. See right here, it's going faster. Now we could tweak it by adjusting the strength and the speed. Make it a bit smaller and a little faster. Before, no vibrato, and back on. Let's hear it a bit more by bringing up the strength. Again, before. 
No movement or modulation. And after. Pretty cool effect. And that's real vibrato, because we're modulating the pitch. Let's try it with an organ. Let's go back here. Let's remove the piano and use an organ instead. We'll bring this one in. Let's turn this off and hear what it sounds like. Now this already has some vibrato chorus. Let's turn that off. It's nice and clean. Let's turn this back on and adjust that as well. Let's go a little slower, less strength. Before, no vibrato, and back on. It's a lot more controllable than what's built into the plugin. Now we could also do this with recorded audio. Let's get rid of this track, and let's bring in a guitar. Here's a guitar track played with a loop. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's add some vibrato to the guitar. Add the effects. The filter's already set up to pitch. So we'll add this one. Touch the parameter right here. Go to this menu and choose parameter modulation. Turn on the LFO. We can change our direction to centered. Bring down the strength and bring up the speed. Let's go a bit stronger. Before. and after. Or we can go slower. It creates some nice motion. But I think if I get better fast. Before. And after. So anyway, that's creating vibrato or vibrato effects in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.